What's up everybody, it's Zach from Switch Force, and today I'm super pumped to be bringing you a Mario Plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle Let's Play. I played the game with my own hands at a late night E3 event, I got to record it for all of you, and now we get to see the early portion of the game as well as a boss battle and how the mechanics all work. So it's going to be super awesome, sit back, relax, enjoy the show, let us know what you think of the game in the comments down below, and here we go, Mario Plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle on Nintendo Switch. Tutorial has become Beepo, and he says, Mario, where are we? What happened? Those rabbits, they seem resolute to cause chaos and mayhem. Hurry up, we have to stop those scoundrels. And away we go. The rabbits drop into the Mushroom Kingdom and bring all sorts of a mess with them. Look at the Goombas stuck in the... Is that like cheese or honey or paint? I don't even know what that is, but the Goombas are not having a good day. Our goal is to rescue Luigi, um, and it's, it's an interesting... Uh, world that they have built here. It's very creative, very colorful. There's rabbits doing their thing everywhere. My current record at Checkers is 456 to 1. My only loss was to a Tronic OX 800XL, a toaster. Would you believe that? But you go around collecting coins, uh, solving puzzles, navigating the environments, seeing weird rabbits, and eventually these combat scenarios. Um, and this is sort of the tutorial here, so it starts off pretty simple. Um, but it is kind of like XCOM. You get to move around using Beepo as your guide, um, and then you can do things like take cover, uh, dash and attack, you can fire your weapon, eventually we'll pick up techniques here in this video, and um, you can even bounce off of your, your teammates for extra distance. But we'll throw Mario into cover here and let him take the first shot of the game on this unsuspecting rabbit. It shows the percentage, it shows uh, how much HP he's got, and on your little bar, it shows how much damage your attacks can do. So you can see, uh, I believe that's 20 movement. And if we jump off of Mario, we can reach even further. So let's bounce off of him. And you can bounce off any of your teammates. It doesn't have to just be Mario, even though he is the, uh, the OG jump man. You can bounce off anybody. Um, and, and the game really has a lot of flexibility, a lot of options for you to be aggressive and successful. You can see it says 25 to 35 damage. Later, you'll get to see us... Uh, change weapons and some of those stats, but that evil rabbit was behind cover, so we had to blow that up first. That's why we had a 0% uh, chance of hitting him, but we did tear down some of his cover, which I think should give us a little bit of a better chance going forward. No, nope, it's still still pretty tough cover there. Uh, different weapons will be better against cover than others, and Rabbit Luigi fights with like a yo-yo blast. It's very interesting. I learned some cool stuff about the game, and I'll try to share that with you. One of them is that the party is always three characters. Um, and eventually you'll get eight to choose from. Mario, Luigi, Peach, Yoshi, and then their rabid counterparts. But when you're forming your teams, you must always have Mario, a rabid, and then your third character is kind of a wild card. So Mario, regular Mario, must be there. And then a, a rabid of any variety, and then a third character, either Mario character or rabid character. Um, and I wonder if Nintendo wanted them to always use Mario, or, or if uh, for the story it just makes sense to have a party leader, or how that works. But we're vaporizing the rabbits, clearing the battle, and I guess trying to send them home, because they have made this world just absolute insanity. You'll notice that many elements uh, that you're accustomed to seeing in, in Mario games have been rabbitified, like this warp pipe with ears. <laughs> And it's actually a pretty darn cool aesthetic. I think the game is really fun in that way. Got some rabbits fighting. You two, stop that. Somebody's going to get hurt. Um, and, like, okay, here we go. Another battle. This time with explosive crates. What I was going to say, though, was I don't think they... I, I feel like they did a nice job of making sure the rabbits don't come across as too obnoxious. I think that was some people's worry. And they, they did a nice job of, probably because of Nintendo... Ensuring that the rabbits are fun and a little zany, but I wouldn't say they're like in your face obnoxious. I didn't get that sense at all. Um, it definitely is a kookier Mario game than maybe we've come to expect, um, but it's a nice change of pace. And the the Mario and Luigi RPG games had really good humor, and I'm I'm guessing that the humor there will be stronger 
than anything this can do, just because those are so well written. But I did like uh, some of the the jokes in this one, and you'll you'll see a good one towards the end of the video. But for now, we are going to continue to blast these dudes away. Some stronger enemies now. Uh, they've got more HP, and you'll notice that we have warp pipes now in the battlefield, and that's going to uh, be in play a little bit later in this fight. And I'm curious to see all the elements. I like that they've incorporated cover. They've incorporated. Uh, environmental hazards, they've incorporated kind of traversal abilities as well. And what that rabbit did right there is something that's incredibly effective. And that's being able to dash in for a melee attack, retreat, and then fire off a ranged uh, weapon-based attack. Um, and I, I, you know, it, it, this is obviously very early in the game. You're seeing me fast forward things right now. I just want to see what that worked. It's nice that you can throw things into kind of uh, hyper speed for the opponent's turn. But what I played was pretty darn easy. Um, and I'm hoping it's just because either A, uh, this is very early in the game, or B, it's because it was a demo and they had kind of it tuned easy. Um, I, I'm really hoping that they are able to deliver a little more difficulty. Um, in the final version, as you progress, you have a lot of options available to you. You can, you know, fire your weapon, you can move, you can jump, and then move. You can dash in for a melee, and then move back, and then attack. There's a lot of flexibility in terms of how you can uh, take down the, the opposition. Um, and I want to make sure that there is also some challenge so that there's strategy in picking what you do rather than just a, a plethora of options that are all very viable. But I like this idea of different elemental crates uh, that, like, for example, burn the rabbits and cause them to uh, retreat to an unknown position. That's pretty cool. Now we'll use Mario's move uh, to get over by this side of cover to eventually take down that foe. Um, and, and Rabbit Luigi is going to use the pipe for the first time. So we'll have him... Uh, let's see. Go back. Come on, buddy. And what you actually need to do, I thought you needed to put your, your Beepo through the pipe. It's funny to say Beepo. Tutorial, like, it's a tutorial, and but that's not as, as clean cut of a name as Beepo. Uh, so our little Roomba Beepo needs to click there, and then he can pop out. But you'll see that you have a lot of flexibility, more than I was expecting. You can move around and do quite a bit. I can move through the pipe, attack him, and then go to cover all in one fell swoop. Smacking him for 30 damage, hit and cover, and we're at least a little bit protected. Now, he's got a great... Uh, a great position there for us to to do even extra damage with our, our ranged attack. Um, and, and Mario, you know, you have a 50% chance behind half cover and a 100% chance behind full cover. And that counts as full cover for Rabbit Luigi. And underneath that cover this time is an elemental box. Um, and I believe that's a bounce box or a spring box. And therefore, if hit, it will knock me away and potentially knock me out of bounds, which deals extra damage. And sometimes the rabbits can kill them entirely. Uh, but we'll dash in for a little damage and then take uh, take cover right next to him. Vaporizing him or digitizing him or just teleporting him back to where he came from. All right, so we are working our way through. I and mean, you'll notice like there's piranha plants that have been turned into lamps. Obviously, the warp pipes have been turned into, like, bunny mouths. Later on, you're going to see a Yoshi toilet. Just some some really neat things. Also, one question that, that I've had is, like, how many characters did Ubisoft get? Was it just Mario, Luigi, Yoshi, and Peach? Did they get even more? Well, you're going to see two more in this video. So, I'm thinking they got quite a few. The final blast is a slow-mo zoomed-in shot for the battle clear. And we get to move on. After that one, um, I will say that the model for Mario and Luigi, like, it's not as crisp and clear as the Mario Odyssey model. Um, it has more of a plasticky look, and it, it it looks, I think, great on the Switch. When you when you blow it up to a TV, it doesn't look as good um, because it is bigger. Uh, you know, it's a bigger screen, and, and I think therefore Mario's plasticness just shows a little more. I have so many questions here. Perhaps they're better left unanswered. There's the Yoshi egg toilet. Very, very odd. You got some buzzing bees in the background and a giant Yoshi egg toilet. Ugh, sorry, recording this super late uh, after the event. It's uh, almost midnight here. And we are working away at E3 as we prepare for tomorrow's Nintendo Spotlight. Or today's Nintendo Spotlight, I guess. You've already seen it when you're seeing this video. Uh, hopefully it was awesome. But we're collecting eight red coins. There's some puzzle elements in the environments of the games. Um, you can see a couple of them here. I think that's cool. Obviously, that one was very straightforward, but I hope that they're able to incorporate more challenging puzzles later on, because I think that would make the the overworld more exciting. Now, here's a treasure chest, and we get our first look at a new item and the weapon screen. So we unlock Piston Panic. And those coins we've been collecting, they are put to good use in the weapon selection. 
So we've got a couple weapons here, and you can see they have different damages, uh, different special damages, and then special damage percentage of how likely it is to activate that special damage. They've got a range. Um, they also have uh, how much damage they do to cover. So you can see additional damage dealt when a weapon's super effect is triggered. Bounce sends combatants flying. And there is a 50% chance of bounce activating each shot. So Piston Panic is a pretty good weapon. It costs 80 coins. Those will be collected during uh, exploration and also battles. And we get to see a couple weapons from the other characters as well. Rainbow Runner from Miss Rabid Peach with the Attitude. And then Shining Dawn. Don't have enough to afford that one right now. Uh, so we'll head on... Um, it's a fixed perspective. You can tilt the camera left and right, but you cannot tilt it up and down. Um, I, I think that felt a little cumbersome, just because I'm, I'm so used to and I wish that I could, uh, you know, tilt the camera on the, you know, the, the Y-axis as well as the, the X-axis. But, alas, that's what they went for. Um, and I guess it makes sense. If you think about, like, the Mario RPG games, it's not like you could mess with the, the, the height of the camera, so it's okay. Uh, this is just much more of a 3D adventure, um, so I kind of found myself wanting to, to turn it more, but it's, it's not really a big deal. Once I got used to it, it didn't even phase me. It was just initially I expected to be able to move the camera wherever I wanted, more like a Mario game, um, and that is that is not the case. So, here we go, collecting some coins. Um, again, they're valuable to get and worth collecting because they do allow you to unlock weapons. I don't know with techniques, uh, or skills if you'll need to buy those later, or if you'll only be using money for, for weaponry or what. Okay, so Luigi is that way, but I wanted to go be careful and investigate up here so we didn't miss anything. And it's just going to tell us you're exiting the demo zone. So, clearly that's not the way to go. We'll progress towards our favorite Mr. Toad, Gabe's uh, character of choice. He's hanging out here. And it says, Mario, you've got to turn around. There's trouble ahead. And Beepo says, sounds like a job for techniques. What the heck are those? Or there's special powers you can use during your turn, outside of moving or employing weapons. Come, see for yourself. We'll use them on the ne'er do wells ahead. All right, so here we're going to add even more elements to uh, our attacking ability. And, and again, this is where kind of just like the easiness came in because you can... Uh, do so much in one turn. You can move, you can use a special, you can attack, but we'll get to that in a little bit. First off, another puzzle. So this one is about rotating these platforms, and again, it's pretty simple, but you can see that uh, if they do spend the time fleshing them out, that eventually they could be uh, more complex and more tricky puzzles that maybe lead to better loot or better uh, coin stashes or what. All right, this guy's all stressed out, running like a hamster. Maybe we should get him some rolled oats. Yikes. All right, so first blush, you're like, hey, rotate it that way. That makes good sense, but... We actually need to rotate it back so that we can get out of here. I thought maybe you could rotate it both ways, but you can't. It is a one-way switch. And so we got to figure out what to do. Well, there's a red activation station over here. We'll grab our coins, hit 46. Make sure there's nothing new to check out, and something looks dangerous up there. It's interesting that the battle arenas are incorporated directly into the environments. It's not something that, like, takes you out to a separate screen. Uh, it, it's right there, and, and not even just like, oh, you fight right where you are, but there's very s specific designated battle areas within these worlds, within these maps, um, as you progress through them. So it's, it's an interesting design choice, um, and I don't know that I've ever seen anything quite like it, where it's almost like you're navigating through a maze or navigating through... A series of rooms, and then some of them are combat, and some of them are exploration. It's kind of kind of interesting. Um, this was cool to see uh, a basically like a bonus area, a special stage. So for this guy, we had to collect all these blue coins in the time limit, and it's pretty straightforward. But again, you can see how these could get more complex. So we're gonna run around here, and uh, it's not a platformer, so you can't fall off the ledge. So you can move as quickly as you need to, but that lowers the wall. And then we can go over here, grab our blue coins, and get another weapon out of another crate. Ooh, another blaster. Loaded question. Looks like it's for Rabid Peach. Um, but they, they weren't giving us full access to the um, 
the like the weapons and the skills and the techniques. It was only accessible during that one uh, chest opening that you saw earlier. So I didn't get to mess around with that much further. Um, there is this thing, Battle HQ. Pressing X, uh, you know, we can warp back to Battle HQ. I'm not sure if that's going to be a hub where you swap out characters or just a hub that, like, you know, if you need to leave the level because you're too, you know, too weak and need to, you know, sort of grind a little bit more. I'm not sure exactly how it's going to work or collect more coins, but Luigi enters the scene. Scaredy cat as always, and this rabbit has a weird visor. It almost seems like an android. Just sleeping on a piranha plant. No, oh, that's not good. Holy cow, a rabid plant, noxious fireweed, our first boss, and it is a true fusion of a rabid and a Mario enemy. How cool looking is that? This arena has elevation incorporated as well, and it introduces the prepare for battle mode, um, which can be opened up at any time during combat. It's sort of an overhead perspective that allows you to fly around and see the enemies, see uh, what their range is, see what kind of damage they deal, and see if you are in their line of sight. And you can do the same thing with your own characters as well. Now, there isn't a lot of flexibility in moving the camera here, so it's a little hard to see uh, exactly where their area is. Like, it kind of, you know, goes off the screen. But it is nice um, to get an idea and a sense of who you're fighting. Um, so you have a lot of information and a lot of abilities. And I hope that they're able to up the difficulty to match that. So you can cycle between their movement and their, their weapons. You can see we're behind cover now, nice and pretty. And my goal is to hit these explosive crates um, to try and get these guys out the way at first. Mario has pretty good range, um, so we'll probably utilize him uh, to get someone out of here. Actually, those explosive crates may not damage them, but Mario does have his technique, Hero Sight. When triggered, does extra damage. And I believe they described Hero Sight as almost a... Uh, what is that called? Oh gosh, I forget the name in, in uh, Overwatch is what it's called. Uh, and and so if someone moves or if someone comes near, uh, we can fire. Now I hit a push crate or a bounce crate, and then because he moved, I guess, I did a second attack, which is pretty awesome. So we vaporize one right from the get-go, and we could move, uh, but I think I'm gonna switch to a different character. And you can use them out of like order, so you could use like Mario's attack, Peach's movement, Luigi's attack, Mario's movement, Peach's attack, like, you can mix it up. Again, there's just so much flexibility. I almost wonder if they, they would tone it down or, you know, almost, like, reduce your options a little for an increased challenge. But we'll hit this block again here and knock him all the way off the map. Goodbye, Sayonara. All right, now we have Mr. Rabid Luigi who's going to try and get aggressive. We've got the P Piranha her rabid boss in the back, so we want to be wary of him. And this is a pretty extended battle, which is good to see. I like boss battles, and I'm excited to see, like, all the different crazy uh, concoctions they can come up with combining the rabbits plus Mario. You know, on the box art, we see a DK rabbit, uh, and based on the other cameo you're going to see at the end here, who the heck knows who all might be appearing in this game. For now, though, we got to focus on the task at hand which is positioning Mario to best attack and take down these guys. I think right here is where we want to keep him. Uh, but Luigi first is going to activate his ability, uh, which makes him invulnerable to special attacks. But I'll soon see that placing Peach and Mario near each other was a mistake because this guy is unlike anyone we faced and can target and damage two in a row. His fire blast is going to send our health meters plummeting and now this guy is going to add insult in who is really going to work on Mario. But it's good because uh, Peach has a heal as her ability. It's a very powerful heal you'll see in a little second. Uh, speeding this up is really nice, so if you do want to make the game more of a, a bite-sized session, that is a way to do just that. Let's go Mr. Luigi Impersonator. Can't quite get up the warp pipe yet, so I can't do the slide attack that I wish I could. Um, but we can move him around. I don't want to put him behind an exploding box because that's just going to lead to burn damage and a retreat. 
Um, we've got Piranha over there. That dude there is kind of taking a survey of the battle. Collecting my coins. Let's see what we have going on. So this might be a turn where we more set up for the next. Mm, where do I want to position Mr. Rabbit Luigi? He's got really good range. We just have to get a little bit closer if we're going to go to work on that rabbit. Uh, but instead, I could damage Petey. Um, let's go over here. And see if we can hit him now. Ah, he's still covered up by that pipe pretty darn well. So cover is incredibly valuable. It's going to be something you'll seek out frequently in the game. But I'm going to shoot it anyways just to see what happens. And yeah, it's just a miss. Can't dink down a warp pipe. Now, Parabid ruined our cover. And Mario can't reach any other... Well, he can go there for half cover. Maybe that's the way to go. Let's get him in half cover. Um, yeah, that's completely... Yeah, completely blocked. All targets are out of sight. So this is going to be a dud of a turn for Mario. Now, I didn't see any way... If you're wondering to rewind time or undo a move, it seems like once you click, you are committed. So once you hit A, uh, it is locked in. Peach can't do anything as well. Uh, she does have this ability, though, that I mentioned, which is going to heal 30% uh, HP for everyone in the area. It's a big area. Again, that's an incredibly effective and valuable attack. And I almost wonder if maybe since this is the early area of the game, like they supercharge your characters or something? I don't know. We'll have to see. So... We are getting some aggressive critical burns on two of my team, and they're just out in the open now. So things are going to get interesting uh, next turn, because this rabbit's coming in and going to get a nice shot in on Ravage Peach. 45 damage, almost ready to take her down to double digits. Top side rabbit goes to work on Luigi, and then finds some cover. Uh, but now we'll get to use the pipe and, and see how that works out for us. So Rabbit Peach can't reach it, Mario can't reach it, but good old Luigi Rabbit can, and we'll come over here, give him a little kick that'll kill him, and then we'll take our cover so that the Rabbit cannot attack, right? It's probably a smart thing to do. Hit that cover. Good work. And that's super effective, and I can still use an attack if I want. So he's gone, and now I have my ranged move, move if I want to use it on uh, Parabid, and I will. So we'll chomp into his health for the first time. 38 damage is a good way to begin. Uh, Peach is just out in the open. There is one more rabbit behind us. Remember that. Um, so he kind of is, is worrisome. I can leap off Mario for extra distance, but uh, is that what I want to do? I'm thinking if I hit this explosive crate, PD is going to move anyways. So maybe if I just take a little bit of cover, uh... We'll get him out of there. There we go. Look at those long tentacle legs. Those roots that keep him on the move. Now, taking cover by any of these explosive crates is bad news, bears. Um, but jumping isn't going to get me anywhere. I could go up top, but I'm pretty darn exposed. Mm, but maybe an upper advantage, a height advantage is a good thing to have in a boss battle. So let's go up here. He is exposed. Uh, but we can deal some damage from above, which is nice. And we get a critical bounce, knocking him out of bounds, dealing 15 additional damage, which is where that uh, special ability, that super bonus, comes in for our weapon. Mario's going to get critically burned and pushed back, which is, wow, way back to the corner of the map. Yikes. Well out of range from his blaster cannon. And this other rabbit is just chilling, staying put. Um, Got Rabbit Peach, who is unable to hit. Uh, but she could blow up the explosive crate, which may be good. Now, Mario can go down, but he can't take cover. So, what do we do with him? Mm, targets are out of range for attack. Luigi is out of range. Could use the pipe with him, uh, but that's not going to get us behind cover either. But maybe it does give us the opportunity to attack, so let's waltz him down there. I think he's far enough away from Peach so that it won't be a, a double tag. Oh, he's still out of range, okay. So, let's see. What do we got going on here? Uh, I'm going to use his super ability, because why the heck not? Uh, there's a two-turn countdown. That Mario still has a turn left on his uh, Overwatch countdown. But let's throw Mario... Um, we could put him right next to Luigi, or we could throw him... Ooh, let's put him in cover up here. That's full cover. That's a good spot. Um, still out of range, though, so we can't attack. But Miss Pichikin can attack. Um... Ooh, look at that bounce, but it's not gonna really get me anywhere interesting. Oh, I could go there, but that might put me out of range Hmm, 
Do I just want to get close to him? I'm exposing myself to the other rabbit, but watch what happens. This is the luckiest, coolest, craziest uh, exchange ever. So I burn PD. It knocks him back, but it knocks him back just the right way so that now he's in range of both Luigi and Mario. And this is how the mighty will fall. Parabid is going down if I get a good shot, and I do 49 damage. Vanquishing our big baddie and beating this encounter. Rescuing our friend once and for all. The best buds are together. Beepo says, Aha, so you're the other half of the fabled duo Mario and Lewis? Lyle? Lulin? Er, well, all the same. Welcome! Battle cleared. Luigi, the poor guy. And it looks like we replan after every battle. So healed up we are. And it's time for that other cameo I mentioned. Beepo says, there, in the sky, see that? Ooh. As Beach continues to take selfies. It began the moment these rabbits and their middlesome friends teleported us into the Mushroom Kingdom. Hmm, according to my calculations, it's actually increased in size since we arrived. The energy we've seen floating upwards each time we defeat an enemy. I wonder... Never mind, we've got to find a way to solve this mess before it gets any worse. In a way, the golden group goes, but look who is waiting. It's Bowser Jr., baby, and that will wrap up our Let's Play. The game is pretty darn cool. I hope they do increase the difficulty, and I hope there is more and more variety, because so far, so good. I really like what I've seen. I hope you guys do as well. Hit that like button if you enjoyed the video and pump for the game. Let us know what you think of the game if you plan to pick it up on August 29th, what your plans are for this new Switch exclusive. And until next time, everybody, thanks so much for watching. Fantastic day. Switch Force out.